little Aussie. She's not so little, but she's very good. Thursday 17th of May and in Norway this is a big day of celebration it's a bank holiday and it is uh, Norway's national day so where I'm from which is in uh, Østfold, Cambo, we have a weird special tradition and um, well it's basically you eat hot dog and waffles so that's what we are going to do now and Heather is mega mega excited Aren't you Heather? Aren't you excited? So For some waffles and hot dogs? Oh, yeah, right, so we will go. Didn't find nice waffle waffles, just small ones. But anyway, so I will do that now. Here we go. Hot dogs, waffles and ketchup. Doesn't that look appetizing? My ketchup was a bit wild. Give us a lot of ketchup. Anyway, let's go and see what Heather thinks. You ready, Heather? You ready? Can you turn the sound off the TV? Tell you a bit. Now my coffee. There is criticism. <coughs> oh wow, that's a, a lot of. Yeah, I will also have some. Waffle. Oh, I see. Okay, good. Nice, that was fine. Get on for <laughs> It's lunch. <laughs> Thumb sideways. <laughs> right, on today's agenda is riding, Heather's teaching, um, normal yard work, and, and uh, yeah, anyway, I need to go and crack on now, go and take off my horse, and, not my horse, dog, and then, uh, and then Now look what I found. A tiny little golden. Hey. Time to go working now. Kido kido. Hello. Wakey wakey! Wakey wakey! Are you tired? Oh dear. That tired. So this morning it was really quite cold and it's just starting to heat up and the sun is out. Look at it. Isn't that nice? Um, I've ridden dock, it was okay. Uh, we'll worsen a little bit of quickness because you kind of go now we do something and then it goes mm, uh, okay and we need to go it mm, uh, needs to not be there um, and what else Heather is just about to go on and write keto which was sleeping and then I am riding Danza new which is complaining because I think she's run out of food and she's obviously starved today, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And then, and then she'll be going out. My little Aussie. 
She's not so little, but she's very good. And she doesn't fit. She's too big to do selfies with. Blah. You do big. No. Oh, slobber. Oh, slobber. We're dirty. We're dirty. Yeah, that's it. What are you doing? Hello. Here comes Heather with juice and sweeties for keto. Oh, she's yawning. You that tired? You that tired? I used to say that you are coming. So this horse is dressed up for the occasion, aren't you? Red, white and blue. And the number even is red, white and blue. <laughs> Very cool. She's so not impressed. Are you? Right. I'm going to stick a bridle on. Let's take a bridle on and go riding. And then go out. Deal. Deal. So that stands are done. Helen's just teaching the last lesson now. And I am going to start. Um, oh, I lost my words. Mm. Start finishing off the R. That's what I'm going to do. Um, right, so. I wrote Danza and she was good. What I really liked about it, and this might sound really weird, is that I was allowed to pick an argument. Now, sometimes you need to be allowed to pick an argument and sometimes you just have to take it a bit farther to be able to go to the next level and very seldom does that not come with a little bit of a of a grump and a little bit of misunderstanding sometimes as well? Nevertheless, you have to stick with it and you have to go through it. Through it. Through with it. Because if you've started to ask for something and they go, oh my god, I don't like it, <clears throat> and they freak out, or they go, eh, I don't want to, or you can, <laughs> you know, please off. <coughs> If you stop then, Wendy, if you stop then, then you have just told your horse that it can do whatever it wants and it doesn't have to listen and the horse is starting to take over and it also I think they lose the confidence in you because you've asked them a question you think they are comfortable doing and well enough established, strong enough capable they go oh I'm not quite sure and you go oh, well let's not do that anymore it's a bit like a, I think it's the same with a child or even the same when I teach if I go right let's go and do a leg yield and the person goes but I've never done the leg yield I'm a bit frightened I maybe mess it up or I can't do it and I go well let's not do it then I have kind of said that I don't believe one in myself as an instructor or a rider to be able to help them through what they struggle with and two I have kind of said that I don't believe that they can do it so I will say the same like when I'm riding when I have a horse and I'm educating it and I'm taking it a bit farther they might not like it or they might think it's weird like why do I have to do this now I've never had to do this before and they might put up or not a might they very often do put up a little bit of an argument about it. If you back down from it because they put up an argument, you're kind of saying the same to them. You're going, oh, you know what? I don't trust this. I don't trust in myself as a leader. I don't trust in myself as a rider. 
I don't trust that I can guide you through this to take you to the next step and to help you to develop your confidence even here and then you kind of saying that to the horse so why would they want to do it and that is I think it's important to remember that you know getting into an argument or having oops oh that was good came out the trailer I didn't see it was okay and having a bit of a, a moment with things it's very seldom that negative a thing even though it sounds negative the word argument and I will put in before I might put in a little bit of during and then a little bit in the end to show you where we started what happened in the middle it is not pretty and how it looks in the end and remember training doesn't have to look good don't take everything at once you know if you lose a bit of the contact or if you lose, lose the positioning of your hands you can see me I'm having my hands you know way out here and down it's not like Charlotte's hands up here but if I would have kept my hands up here I would never have gained what I wanted to gain which was a little bit more give to get the transitions better and to give her get her to soften through her back and that is the next step now is really we need to nail these changes and I can never get the changes if I can't get her to soften from my leg through her back and up to my hand if all she does is wanting to pull when I put a leg on she'll pull harder so when I put a leg on to do the change she will just leap out in the change rather than sit up sit down come up and come through in the change and you know that's why I need to get this this needs to get sorted so that's what we've done today and I'm really 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 happy because even though she put up a bit of an argument and I stuck with it and I said no you know what you know we can do this together together we can find a solution to this and I know that I can help you to understand that I'm not going to do this to be nasty to you but I'm going to do this to be able be nicer and for you to have it nicer to get rid of as well because if they are softer it's nicer for them so yeah really happy a month ago I couldn't have done that because a month ago when I said canter but don't pull me she said I'll canter and pull you as the end of the discussion if I then had said you're not pulling I would have ended up losing the argument because I was not in a mentally good state to have enough belief in myself that I could help her to get to where I wanted her to be. And I think that's really important. Now, she is really sensitive to where I mentally am. So if I'm not feeling 100%, I can sometimes still get on her, but I need to kind of take it into, a, um, what's it called? Keep it in mind so I don't, push things that I know I struggle with because you don't want to end and, and go in a down spiral <coughs> like the other young horse I ride he doesn't care really where I mentally am uh, but he really does so I found one thing that I really have think is working with her and I'm really confident in that I can make her understand that this is a better way forward and I'm really quite confident in it. So I have ended up in a better place mentally on her because I've found something I feel comfortable, uh, confident with. And uh, yeah, so far so good. And let's hope this continues to go like that. Now, the first thing that happens here is that she drops behind the contact and then she doesn't like it. What I will do is I will just quietly sit there and wait for her to realise that I am at the same place so she can come to me and find uh, find confidence again. So here I'm riding from two legs up to two hands and then when she gives to me I reward her. I find it immensely important to always reward positive behaviours so that they know what we seek and know what they can look for. Now these transitions, if you look, you can see how she elongates herself and she jumps out of the canter. She gets longer, so the contact here is not so good. So this transition is rubbish. 
Now here she's behind my legs, I give her a kick, now she's more forward so I can have a very light aid to canter. So this canter is nicer than the canter before because the transition was better and she's more together and more giving through her top line. Now this doesn't last for so long. <laughs> And here you can see how the contact is starting to change. I decided to try to sort it by widening my hands. She doesn't like it, so we end up having this. Again, this is her arguing about me having to raise. Now, this is after the little argument. And now she's accepting me having to raise a little bit more. And I quietly put her leg gate on to say come forwards to trot. She answers very nicely. And then again come forwards to canter. Which she does slightly slow. That's but right, she doesn't right. pull and she doesn't elongate her body. So I'm happy with it. Now this canter is a bit shorter. But it's a little bit more engaged. So it's still okay. The contact is wiggling if you look. But what I really like is that even though it's a little bit wiggling and I'm moving a little bit and I'm playing around, she isn't um, finding it uncomfortable and she doesn't argue about it until now. And then she doesn't want to go forward because I'm not giving the contact. So it takes me a little bit of motivation to get her to give forwards. And then I kind of reward her here by allowing her to move. Because that's what I wanted. I didn't ask her to come down to walk or halt in that transition. She did that herself because she didn't like me holding the reins. This transition is still a little bit backwards. The upwards transition is quite nice. She's quite soft through her back there and answering very quickly off my leg. So she's quicker in her canter steps, so they are not so long and slow. She has a tendency to want to be a little bit slow and everything because she's very big. And here I am asking her for a little shoulder in to try to help her engaging her hind legs without just kind of kicking and pulling. So I'm doing a shoulder in to engage the hind leg to help her push through and keep the give. And here I want a little bit more bend. And then as soon as she gives it to me, I reward her. So again, I reward the positive behaviours and the positive answers I get when I ask a question. And again, I give her a pat. Now this transition down to walk, you can see how she continues to think forward. So it's a much nicer transition than the last one. Here she's waiting for me to ask her to do something. You can see how she's almost tripping with her hind legs, which in a test is not so good because you might get a mark off. But for me, training wise, this is fantastic news because it means that she is waiting and wanting to go forwards. Which is really nice because as you could see a little bit earlier, if I didn't let go of the contact, how she didn't want to go off my legs. Because she wanted to pull me out the seat and elongate her body instead of stepping under and through. So that for me is very positive. Here I ask her to go a little forward and he asked her to bring her together again. You can see how she gets a little bit questioning that should I really do that can I really do this and here she comes quite far behind my leg and I just sit there and I push her through it and as soon as she softens and goes oh well, that's what you wanted I pat her and then I walk because I want to really reward that when she thought it was a little bit harder she questioned what I did but then when I tried to explain to her what I wanted her to do she said, oh, okay, that's okay. I understand what you want. And she re released to me. Here is just my basic, I'm trotting her off. Uh, she could stretch her nose a little bit more forwards, but her balance is good and her engagement from behind is nice and the rhythm is nice. And she's very supple and soft through her back here, which is for me very nice to see because she has a tendency to want to rush and run away 
uh, when you ask her to, to kind of do this type of stretching. So I am very, very happy with this workout. And I know it's not always so pretty to look at, but I hope you can appreciate what I'm trying to show you and that you could learn something from it. My horse is exhausted. Look at her. Oh, she's a good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. You're tired. Oh, it's good for you to be a bit tired. Hey. <laughs> oh, little plutus. You coming? No. You pretty girl. Come. I want to say another thing. This is a lot of blabble now, but anyway, it's mental awareness week and I do struggle a lot mentally and I don't think I'm that good at sharing it um, because it's a little bit, it's a bit of an insecurity. You don't really want to give out that you struggle, but I do struggle. I struggle a lot. I struggle almost every day. But like finding these little things like today with Dansa or the last week I found this one thing and it's really been working and I can see how she's progressing and how we are progressing together. You know, trust it, believe in it because a while ago I would have found that key and I would have done it but I still wouldn't have believed in that I could continue to do it or that it was right or that it was good. I would continue to put myself down and farther down and farther down and farther down and that's all sort of I've done all my life. It's not healthy, I know that, but it's what I've done. So I've started to understand that when I can see forwards, I'm allowed to have bad days and I'm allowed to feel down and I'm allowed to feel sad, but I can still try to appreciate the things that go well in my bad days. And that's a work in progress as well. So to all you that are out there that might struggle a bit with something, even on a bad day, sit down, analyze your day a little, try to find that one positive thing, even if it was, oh, I had a call out, it was amazing, or I got a really nice text, or my horse looks cute, I got a nice picture of my horse. Whatever it is, try to, Allow that to also come forwards in your mind so you don't only focus on the negative bits, even on a bad day. Promise. One good thing in your bad day to help you get through it. Right, I need to crack on with the yard now. We're finishing off. Oops, she's jumping. What are you doing? Oh, hop! Dun 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 Oh, is he yummy? Ah, your keys are falling out. Keys are naughty. Look how cute they is. Hello, Lorde. You're 
you trying to hide? Huh? Are you trying to hide? Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you, could you take your gates and open the door? I need to go in. What are you doing? Go and see if the water can get switched off. Let's go. Okay. So today we're having a bit of a barbecue-ish barbecue food in the oven. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and start doing that. Won't fit. Oh, scrubby, scrubby. What mess is it? Yes. Careful with my camera! Ah! Ah! Well, if it wasn't all here, why <laughs> is the camera on the counter of the. That's where kitchen. it landed the last time I used it. Yeah. How yummy doesn't that look? Hey? Nom 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 nom. I'm such a foodie. <laughs> well, dig in. 